there are basically four sections that make up a shotgun barrel. The first section is your chamber, which is where your shot shell sits. That's the largest diameter part of the barrel. The second section is called the forcing cone. It sits right in front of the chamber and brings that diameter down to the bore size of the barrel, whether it be 12 gauge, 20 gauge, whatever. And the bore, which is what makes up most of the barrel, is the next section. And then the, in the end of the barrel, if your gun is equipped with a choke, that's where your choke's going to be. Now some barrels are cylinder bore all the way through and, and therefore they're chokeless. But if you have a choke, it's gonna be in the muzzle. And what we're gonna talk about today is screw in chokes. So let's take a look at them. All right guys, so I've been asked to do this video for a while now, going back a couple years, I've gotten requests to do it. And I really didn't know how to get started. So, uh, it's such a, a large topic and so much in there to explain that the video could be an hour long. So what I'm gonna do here is just hit on the basics. Um, I've got five choke tubes in front of me here that are, are really common and they're, they're five that I think everyone should have anyway. And we're gonna talk about them and how to go about choosing the right choke tube for the right job. Uh, what I've got in front of me, I've got a full I've got an improved modified, a modified, an improved cylinder, and a cylinder. Those are your five basic chokes. There, there are many more chokes. There, there are chokes for almost every uh, every couple thousandths of constriction that you would add to the muzzle of the barrel. There's a choke for it. But these are the five most basic. A full is going to give you 70% of your shot in a 30 inch circle at 40 yards. That's considered a full choke. And these are labeled, it's labeled as a full choke, but you'll have to test with the load that you're shooting to see what actual pattern you're getting. Uh, the labels are actually just guidelines. But uh, then here I've got an improved modified. This will give you 65%, a modified 60, an improved cylinder 50, and a cylinder bore is going to give you about 40% of your pellets in a 30 inch circle at 40 yards. Now if I'm out, uh, say I'm kicking up rabbits in the fall, trying to bag a limit of rabbits, I like to use an open choke, like a cylinder or an improved cylinder, because I want that pattern to disperse quickly because I know that that rabbit's going to, in general, he's going to hop up only a few yards in front of me and take off running, so it's going to be a close shot that larger pattern is going to give me a better kill zone and it's going to keep me from tearing up too much meat. If I was using a full choke, I would pretty much destroy the rabbit if I shot him at 10 or 12 yards. So there's one way of looking at it. Um, let me demonstrate with a, with a garden hose. I know that sounds weird, but let me maybe I can show you what I'm trying to talk about. Guys, in reality, all the choke tube is doing is adding some restriction to the end of the muzzle right before the shot load leaves. Um, the choke I've got here on my left is a cylinder bore. The one on my right hand is a full choke. And hopefully you guys can see the actual difference in the thickness of the tube. The uh, full is going to have a smaller inside diameter than the cylinder. And that's all that, that's all that a choke is. It's actually choking off the inside of that muzzle. All right, now this may look a little strange to you guys, but I think it'll show, it'll demonstrate my point on this. Let's pretend or imagine, if you will, this is my shotgun and I've got a cylinder bore choke in. Targets at close range are easy to hit. That's the big advantage of having a cylinder bore. But, Let's say your target gets out a little ways on you. As you can see, my pattern dispersed so wide that I had very little effect on the target. So this is when you would want to, if you're going to be shooting at farther ranges, you would want to change to a full choke. I just changed my choke. So now we can shoot targets at a little farther range and still have a decent pattern on them. 
And that's basically what you're doing when you're changing choke tubes. You're changing the size and effective range of your pattern. I love this shotgun, by the way. All right, so I probably ended up looking like a goofball with that little demonstration there. But uh, I really think that if you use your imagination, you can see what I'm talking about with choke tubes. Um, now, I'll touch on some of the gray area stuff that I was talking about and about these being labeled as guidelines. Your choke tubes are the biggest factor in your, uh, in your pattern, but there are many other factors too, including the amount of shot in the shot shell, the size of the shot, the, uh, the velocity that the shot is loaded to, all those things are going to affect your pattern and the percentage of your pattern that's gonna be in that 36 or 30 inch circle, which is what, basically that's your full choke or your modified choke is what you're getting in that circle, regardless of what your tube is labeled. So you'll wanna test the loads that you're using. It's always good to get out and practice anyway and, it, and it's good to know mentally what your shotgun is doing. If you can get out there and get on a pattern and board somewhere, most trap ranges have them. Uh, sporting clays courses, they're gonna have them. Or you can even just shoot like poster board. Just to get a mental picture of what your shotgun is doing, it, it's, it's really good for you to get out and do that. Now like a lead shot is gonna pattern different than steel shot. I've got some steel shot here. In general, steel shot's gonna pattern about two chokes tighter than what your choke tube is labeled because it's so much harder than lead. Uh, say I'm shooting an improved cylinder, I'm probably gonna get an improved modified pattern on my patterning board with steel shot. Most people don't like to go tighter than a modified choke when shooting steel shot because of that reason you can actually get to where you're constricting the shot too much and it, it starts to blow your patterns out. And it can ruin your choke tubes if you're using uh, choke tubes that aren't made for steel shot. Speaking of that, all these uh, tubes here in front of me from Beretta, they're labeled SP, which means steel proof. I could shoot steel in any of these chokes. But I would probably get the best results from a uh, modified or less choke. Um, of course, there's specialty chokes out there. You can get chokes that are for rifle, that have rifling in them, four slugs, for uh, Sabo style slugs. Uh, this is a turkey choke. It would fall, uh, if it were here on the table, it would be the next level up from full to get even tighter. And it, I have patterned it. I get about a 90% uh, pattern with the load I'm using for turkey hunting. Uh, this is a waterfowl tube. It's designed for steel shot to give me a full choke pattern with steel shot. But, uh, and choke tube care, you always want to have a, a light coating of grease on these threads. I use, uh, this is, let's see, it's breech plug uh, grease for a muzzle loader. It does a great job on keeping the choke tubes loosened up. They will seize if they're uh, not taken care of and they can be really hard to get out. Of course, most of your, if you buy a new shotgun that comes with tubes, you'll get a choke tube wrench with it. They're easy to change in and out. Don't have a choke in here at all right now. They're all on the table. Just drop them in. Twist them down. I like to give them just a little snug turn. You're not trying to, uh, you're not, putting lug nuts on your car or nothing here. Just wanna get them in there good and snug and check them from time to time and make sure they aren't, they haven't loosened up on you. Oops. But uh, anytime you're working around the muzzle, of course, today I've just got the barrel here, so, uh, so it's not a concern, but if I had this on the shotgun, you wanna make sure that your action is open, barrel's cleared. But that's all there is to them. Um, I hope this answered some of the questions I've been getting. If not, I can come back and do a part two of this video and actually get out on the patterning board and, and demonstrate some patterns with these different choke tubes. If y'all got any questions, feel free to leave them and I'll try to answer them best I can. I'll see you guys again soon.